In this video, we'll look at how to install MySQL on an Ubuntu machine. So the first thing we, we need to do before we start the installation is to do an update and uh, an upgrade on our packages or the repositories. So the command will be sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Put in our password. And they should do the update and upgrade for us. So let's wait for it. it. Shouldn't take too long. So it looks like it's downloading the updates here. We'll press yes. So it's doing the installation. So once the installation is complete, we'll go ahead and run the installation command for MySQL. So we'll be doing the installation for both the server and the client. So I'll do a pause here and I'll be back once it's done with the upgrade. So the progress is at 89, so it should be done here soon. So it's finally done with the upgrade. We we'll run the command to do the installation of uh, MySQL server. So the command is sudo up install MySQL server. You can also do the client MySQL client. Press enter. Uh, y to continue. So it's doing the installation of the MySQL server for us. So once that, that's done, we can check the version. So the command to check the version is MySQL SQL, uh, dash dash version. And it's 8.0.33. That's the version we installed. The next thing we want to do is we want to run a script that can help us set up the password and users or for a new install. So the utility is uh, MySQL secure installation. So we'll run it here, SQL underscore secure installation. It's asking us if we wanna set up a validate password component that validates passwords. We'll go with Y for yes. We can set up the the strength of our password here, there is three levels, low, medium, and strong. Now, this is a lab environment. We'll go with the uh, zero for low. Okay, you can put in a password. Okay, it has, it's asking us if we want to continue with the password we provided. Uh, yes. So here we are running into an error. So there's a workaround when you get this error message. We'll go ahead and uh, do that workaround. So I'll close, I'll close out this terminal. I'll go ahead and open a new terminal. And then I will do sudo my SQL. Okay, now we will go ahead and run a command that will allow us to change the password for the root user. So it's going to be alter user. root at local host identified with my sql underscore native password i then we'll type in a new password here my password, we'll call it. It 
semicolon. Now we'll quit. We'll try the script again. Now the new password we just configured, we'll use it. Fine. Now we are in again inside that script and we'll start the process again. So we can press Y to change the password. Press Y. It's stating that there is a default anonymous user and best practice is to remove it. So we'll press Y to remove it. And it's asking if we want to disallow root login remotely, remember we yes. And then there's also a default test database, which we can also remove, that's why. We can reload the privilege tables and it's saying we are done. Now that we are done setting up user and password, we can try and log into uh, MySQL again. First, we can check the status, systemctl status. It's saying that it's active and it's running. Now the command to log into the MySQL server is gonna be sudo mysql dash u for user, which is gonna be root dash p for password. It's gonna ask us to enter the password. So here Enter the password you created during the setup. And now we are logged into the console of MySQL. Now to test our installation, we can show what uh, databases are in MySQL server. So we can run show database. So right now we have this database is listed here. We can create our own. And the command for doing that will be create database. We call it Eno. Then we can list the databases again. Show databases. And we have the new database created. So that's it for this video. That's how you install MySQL on Ubuntu. And also that's how we set up the passwords and uh, the users for a new install. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks, bye.